I am Game Guy. Remember this game? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, it's time for more Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes with a twist. I uh, still don't know what the twist is. The twist is apparently I can't update this game ever for some reason. It's, it's just something that can't happen, I suppose. Anyway. We finished, uh, this place, now we're gonna leave, it's pretty wonderful, or whatever. Um, I suppose, uh, before I really start, I do want to apologize for the lack of updates on this thing and whatnot. I mean, I've pretty much gone, like, a month or more without actually updating this thing, and, uh, in some ways it's my fault, but, I mean, you know, um, I suppose this is gonna be kind of temporarily out of character, but, um... Well, actually, I'll just put it in the video description, because that, that would just break the immersion! <laughs> so, uh, read that. You know, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, there is a thing up here that I didn't get on my way down. As I recall, yes, a piece of lore hanging out over here. Ah, heritage. Data transfer to logbook. Our search for a home took us through the cosmos. For many a great cycle we roamed, yet a place to call our own eluded us. In time we began to despair, feeling the search was in vain. We considered remaining among the stars until a scout returned with news of a world unlike any other. When we beheld Aether for the first time, so great was her beauty that we forsook the stars forever to live upon her surface. From that day forward, the Luminoth were of Aether, our blessed paradise. Well, I mean, you don't have to get so dramatic about it, but I guess if you really want to, that's your choice. <laughs> um, so yes, now the typical formula of this game is once you complete an area, it's time to head on back to uh, the old uh, temple there and talk to, to, to Yumo Man. The Umos Man, that guy, the big old guy who was, he was there, he existed, and we talked to him that one time. Here, have a missile. You don't die to a missile? I'm very sad about the fact that you just don't die to a missile. It's very rude, and honestly, I think you should just die to a missile. If you didn't die to a missile, I think, just, you know, it, it saddens me. I, I'm fighting these guys for basically no reason. Where am I going? I've, like, already forgotten the layout of this place. I don't think I can go here, because I, um, can I go there? Is that where I went to, to go to the place before? I don't even, I don't even recall. But I do have the double jump now, which I did not have the first time I was here, which will make for some, uh, you know, nice little platforming things. Nice little platforming things. I don't know if I'm going to get this video out in time or not. I might be a little bit late. But you can actually get Metroid Prime Trilogy on the Nintendo eShop for like 10 bucks uh, right now. Uh, if I'm too late for that sale, it should still be there, but only for like 20 bucks. But, I mean, you know, in case you ever wanted it, instead of having to buy it for like $70 or other ridiculous amounts. <laughs> it's pretty great. Also, I'm supposed to freaking shoot it with light, not with dark. Gosh, this is a big ol' uh, thingy that moves out of the way. It's pretty great. Um, it leads to a dark portal. I guess on that previous note, you might be wondering why I didn't just switch to the trilogy version. Well, I think for consistency's sake, I'm just going to stick with the GameCube version. I did go ahead and pick up the trilogy version, because why would I pass up a deal like that? <laughs> $10 for what was a $70 game? Heck to the yes. Hey, a door I can't access. Great. Uh, there's this thing. It's apparently a logbook object. I wasn't aware of that, but it's a thing. Uh, don't get near it, or things might happen. So yeah, we got the dark suit, which means I might be able to survive a little bit longer in this atmosphere of harshness. But there's also a missile tank over here, so that is something I want. I gotta go get me a missile expansion. That's right, they're called expansions in this game. Silly me, how could I have been so wrong? Hey, it's one of those ing dudes. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You doing okay? I don't think there's anything else really in this room. I mean, because I can't go through that door, so, I mean, not a whole lot that can happen here. Let's head back to Light Aether now. That sounds like a good place to be. 
We don't need to stick around in Darkland and risk hearing Ernie for a while. That would just be weird. That would just be weird. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, no, that's right. I am supposed to go this way, because this is where the temple is. I gotta go to the temple. I gotta go to the temple. Um, are there other places I can go to? I mean, because I, I have, um, you know, upgrades that I can use now. There's a storage chamber there. I can go check what that is. I already said I was going to the temple. Let's just go there. <laughs> Plus, it's, I think if I go here, you know, it'll open up something for me. And it might be a nice time, you know? It might be a nice time. There's no time like the present to go up a really fast elevator. You'd think that as soon as the elevator stops, because of momentum, uh, Samus would just go flying into the ceiling. That's what I think should happen. Where's your physics, game? You don't have realistic physics at all, and it makes me sad. Gosh, this game is terrible. Freaking 7.8 out of the 10. Too much not physics. Um, alright. So, here, there was a thing that I couldn't get before, because I did not have bombs, yes? Bombs, yes? I think this is something that existed. Although, I will say the trilogy... Yeah. The trilogy version adds, like, a, a morph ball jump thing. Spring ball, if you will. Uh, which is kind of nice, and uh, what might be uh, along this endless tube of destruction? A uh, missile expansion. I'm glad I went down the endless tube of destruction. It, didn't, it wasn't really a destruction of any kind, but it was a tube. That cannot be denied. Apparently I didn't kill an enemy somewhere, but it's alright. It's okay. Uh, which way leads to... Uh, what's his face? Is it this way? Is this the way? The way where I shoot everything but the door? I'm pretty sure this is the way I gotta go. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it just seems correct to me. And there's all kinds of correct and crazy correct correct. It is correct. Hey there, buddy. I don't believe I scanned you, which is why I'm gonna have a cutscene instead of scanning you. Hey, friend. Alright, look. That's that thing that I did. Like, more than a month ago. Sorry I took so long to get here. <laughs> Thank you for restoring the energy to the Temple of Aegon. Your room is still filled with bugs. Mm, your valor honors the Luminoth. Those who have passed, those who remain here under my protection as they sleep in deep stasis. Mm, be on guard, for the Ing do not suffer defeat lightly. They will surely seek revenge. Well, that's rude. Mm, the energy lost from the desert region, they will increase their efforts in other lands. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh no, you have hologram hands again. Unusual amounts of ing activity in the Torvis sector. The enemy is on the move. Bummer. Hmm. Anyway. The swamp lands of Torvis are treacherous and can hinder you considerably. Bear this in mind as you move through the bog. Well, alright. I am reacting, I guess. Seek the Torvis Temple Key! Or, no, wait. How did I even get key in there? I don't even know. May the light of Aether serve you well! Okay, I'm gonna scan you now, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I forgot to scan him. Like, didn't I scan the energy controller thing and then just somehow completely missed him? Oh yeah, this is the, the thing with lore on it, but I've already gotten that, so, uh, you know. I may or may not have actually had to trigger that cutscene, but I needed to come up here to scan him anyway. Besides, it's for, like, dramatic effect. I mean, well, what kind of guy would I be if I didn't go all-out dramatic now? That would just be silly. Actually, yeah, no, because I have, um, I have the ability to, uh, scan a door somewhere. Is it you? Is it you? Pathway to Torvis! Yeah, I remember for the longest time when I was a kid, I kept calling this place Trovis instead of Torvis. Or maybe I had just spelled it that way, I don't know. I I was never good at the speaking, apparently. Yes, so now we can go this way. There are some new friends waiting for us over here. Hi, new friends! How you doing? Harmony class drone? Harmony class? You guys are bamboos, right? You're attracted to my gun charging? Yes. <laughs> they just have a very limited range of that, apparently. 
Well, okay, well, whatever. I mean, you know, if, if you want to be weird like that, that's your choice. Uh, do I have to scan this? Of course I have to scan this. I always have to scan this. You gotta scan everything, man, because if you don't scan everything, what's the point of having a scan visor? Nothing, I tell you what. Alright, so now that we're here, I would imagine that, uh, according to physics, if the elevator slams on the ground, Samus should just go falling over. But, uh, you know, this game doesn't have realistic physics, so why should I expect that? Oh, no. I have unrealistic expectations. I forget which enemies I've scanned and which enemies I haven't scanned. It is going to be a recurring theme here as I try to remember what, what I've done. Uh, okay, so war wasps, I've, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of you so that I might explore freely. Hmm, yes. Free to explore, I am. But not in this general direction. No, sir. <laughs> um, oops. Didn't mean to. Sorry. Well, here's a uh, half-pipe-like uh, area. That's obviously not important for any reason. Oh, no! These things! I'm always, like, wanting to scan them, but there's, like, really no reason to. So I'm just gonna shoot a bunch of them and get some health back. Because they just rudely murdered me. Momentarily. I survived, obviously, and we'll move on now. Ah, yes, we are in the tunnel with the, uh, the, the, the weird red thingies. Clearly, this is a fate worse than death. Um, yes, okay, well, I guess I can't go that way. Hey there, war wasps. Oh, good, I get to go to the, the dark lands now. Wonderful! My favorite thing to do, going into the depths of Terribleville. My favorite place. How did you know, game? How did you know that I loved Terribleville so much? Just seemed like the thing to do, you say? Well, I mean, if you want to want to be that way. Hey there, Inglet dudes. I'm gonna shoot you a whole lot. You can tell because you can hear my controller clacking a little, but um, not too much. Not as loudly as once was, which is always good. Hey there, friend. I shot you. Is there anything this way? I want to know. I can actually tell on the radar there's another green door. Man, I wonder what opens green doors, guys. I guess we'll never figure it out. Uh, but, you know, until that day where we may figure it out, let's move on to here. Ah, uh, yes. This room. This room is great. Hey, room, you look wonderful. There's a lot of, uh, lack of light beacons around here. It's, uh, oh, hello. You are lasers. Hello, Corrupted Sentry Eye. You're basically those eyes from Metroid Prime 1 that existed. I think I can kill you with a charge shot? I think. Yes, I can. I can do such things. I should probably stand here in the darkness some more, slowly losing all of my health. Clearly, you know, exactly what I should have done. Obviously. You know, just, it's just uh, the most obvious thing. Anyway, here we have a puzzle of sorts. I believe. Um, yes. Alright, yeah. See this elevator here? It's gonna take us up to the top level. Thankfully, there's a light area just, you know, here for some reason. Now, let me try to remember how to do this. I'm gonna just kinda, kinda look at it here. Okay. So basically, you see these big old metal things next to the bomb slots? When I, when I bomb the slot, it's gonna drop down the metal thing. The goal is to get them all down, but see, if they're down, I also can't go across where the metal slot is, because you might notice the little door close. Now, I can also bomb it again if I want to raise it. And the, the trick to this puzzle is I need to go in this order to get rid of uh, any chance of being stuck and also drop all the things. This is important, trust me. Uh, okay. I made it to the next elevator without wasting any time. It's A-OK -okay in Samusville. And now we've solved the puzzle. That was keeping us from our victory. Hooray! A hologram appeared. Holograms are wonderful. Um, okay. So now let's get some health back. Health is nice. It is tasty. We're gonna have some health for breakfast. It's, uh, it's all part of a balanced breakfast, you know? You just get some health pellets and some cereal. It's great. Also, uh, these guys are just gonna kind of fly at you, and it's pretty wonderful. I think I scanned them earlier, so I'm not really worried about them. I guess I can check. Nope, I scanned them. I was correct. 
I was correct in my assumption that uh, these guys are pretty great. This this part's a little arbitrary because it's like, oh man, you're gonna get uh, pelted by these guys, but they don't do a whole lot of damage, and you're in a constant state of healing, so <laughs> it's kind of dumb. Also, the healing thing goes away for no reason in particular. It's weird. I don't get it, but it happens. So just be prepared for such things, I guess. I don't know. Do you know? You must know. Because you're the one watching this. I mean, obviously. Oh no, the pirate skiff! Darn. I hate it when the pirate skiff is being itself. Anyway, we're on the other side of the green door now without actually opening the green door. It's pretty great. Um, I believe in this section we're going to be under attack by our good old friends, uh, the space pirates. Hey there, buddies. How you doing? Oh, good, you're being corrupted. That's wonderful. Let's just go ahead and switch to good old the light beam. Good old... I died, apparently. I was not even remotely paying attention to my health there. It's pretty great. Oh, and I get to redo that entire recording session. Cool! Alright, let's try this again. But this time, we're gonna use a little bit more of an abrupt method. Let's try using the dark beam! Oh no, you are all covered in goopy goop. I thought this was supposed to kill you. Maybe it's a different version of the game. I don't know, man, but... Whoa! You're suddenly a dark pirate. When did this happen? <laughs> um, buddy, old pal. You, you kinda cheated there, sir. Just thought I'd, just thought I'd point that out. Um, anyway... <laughs> the, the typical strategy there is you just want to kind of, like, you know, you freeze him with the dark beam, use a missile, kind of like the ice beam, only better, because I said so. Uh, anyway, um, we need to go ahead and uh, turn style this thing style. We gotta turn style the thing style. We gotta style the turn thing style. I got shoved to the side because it wasn't quite in the crevasse yet. Is there a guy? There's a guy. Hey there, buddy! Hey there, buddy, pal! How you doing? You're dead. Ow. What, what even hit me? Oh, were you one of the grenade guys and I just didn't notice somehow? What's over here? This looks important, and I want to know what it is. It's a door I can't go through. My favorite. Well, at least I know it's there. Um... Oh, hold on, I remember this puzzle. This is a sneaky puzzle, because it involves turning around. Turning around will save the day, in case you didn't know. Um, it's generally uh, my strategy uh, favorite thereof. Can I just shoot you from way over here? Well, I mean, I can, but it takes a little bit more effort than that. Just a little bit more than what I'm used to. Um, I remember there being like a tunnel somewhere around here but I don't know where it's at off the top of my head. There is however a nice little gate here that, uh, oh hello I have located the tunnel. The tunnel has been located. I remember it now because uh, what's in here is a lore thing I can't read yet and another one of these things which will basically act as a shortcut through that area so I don't have to go through that mess again if I don't want to Oh, wait, I can read you? Oh, alright. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I couldn't read that, but okay. Um, data received. Amidst the turmoil, we have discovered many disturbing anomalies. Spatial disturbances appeared across the land. Objects went into a state of dimensional flux. Their atoms divided between Aether and somewhere else. <laughs> there was little time to ponder these strange happenings, but we had to deal with the devastation of our lands. Well, that's, uh, very unfortunate there, sir, guy. Did I miss any other lore? Because I thought I couldn't scan it yet? I'm sure people will tell me. People told me so many times that I missed that one by the elevator. So, <laughs> you know. Anyway, where were we going but here? We're gonna go here. This is a place we can go to, you know? There's, uh, there's, there's war wasps here. I would think that there might be, like, an item hidden in here somewhere, but I guess not. Sometimes there just aren't items around. Sometimes we have, uh, other things to do. 
like scanning this thing to go down an elevator. Anything behind here? I always want to look in these elevator rooms for secrets, because they seem to have, like, little hidden corners where, um, they might hide something, but then they don't, and it bothers me. Actually, I think the way that this game was designed from, like, a level design perspective, they intentionally had, like, secret areas in every room of the game, and then they just decided at a later date where to hide all the items, or something to that effect. I don't know, it's... An interesting thing to point out, I suppose. Yeah, see, like, you got this whole area over here that has, like, no use other than to just be there. I mean, it's pretty great. Although there is this stuff here. There's a Torvis bear pod! It contains bears. <laughs> oh, actually, no, that's right. You shoot them and they have, like, toxic gas and such. You want to stay away. What is this? Some big old fan thing. Air purification system. Uh, only at a basic level is it activated. Well, darn. It's gonna it's gonna fail in the next uh, three cycles. Well, we made it to Torvis. What wonders await us here, other than shriek bats that I'm trying to scan, even though I've already scanned them. Who knows? It seems very wet and wild and rainy. And can I scan that? Yes, I can. Ah, uh, yes, a Torva's hanging pod. You shoot it, it falls down. Whee! <laughs> well, that was fun. Anyway, we're going to explore this place next time. I'll see you later, and goodbye! Hopefully I'll see you again before another month passes. <laughs> uh, jokes.